Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my top five favorite mummy, non mummy things. I say mummy, non mummy because some of them are aimed specifically at parents, but some of them are just cool places to hang out with good coffee or good websites with kind of really stylish stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to give too much away. Most of the things I talk about are in London, but some of them are online as well. So I'll pop links to everything below. Even though loads of places say that they're baby friendly, there's a difference between being a cafe where there's a couple of high chairs and a changing table where you go, say, with a friend and actually it's just not at all possible to even have a meal because you've got a little one who, if they're like Jack and Jack's age around one, they really want to move and be active and so you just end up kind of wolfing down your meal and spending the rest of the time trying to keep them occupied. The other extreme are these cafes that are set up just for babies and toddlers, basically like soft play centres, which if any of you guys have seen any of, me, any of my other vlogs, you'll know that I'm not really a massive fan of them. I just find the whole like huge room, loads of plastic toys and screaming kids and babies, it's just, yeah, it's not really my thing. But this place is kind of a mix between the two. It's my favourite cafe to go. I've talked about it before, it's called Bear and Wolf, it's in Tuffnell Park in North London. So from the outset, it's really trendy looking, you've got this big kind of open kitchen, low hanging lights, eaves sort of chairs, um, kind of communal seating area, and you've got amazing food, like really amazing coffee, um, great fresh sandwiches and salads and baked stuff, and then you go through and you've got the cub room, which is basically a baby and kids room, which is amazing. It's full of toys and books and bouncers and jigsaws and instruments and it's just wicked and then it opens up onto this little patio which has more seating in and then there's a little chalkboard table and also in that area there's a really great changing room with those of space and a sink um, separate to the toilet. The really nice thing about it is that you can eat throughout the whole place so you can be in that play area at the back with your food and so you can be there with a friend and that's what I've done chatting away and Jack has just been really happy playing all around us. It's yeah, it's really, really great. So now with Jack, I just don't get time to exercise. Um, oh, he's crying upstairs, Sam's putting him to bed. I've discovered online exercising and it's changing my life. So there's this amazing YouTube channel called Tonic. It's a lifestyle channel basically. And um, there's a big focus on yoga. So they have these really great yoga online classes. They're absolutely free, they're about 20 to 30 minutes and each session is kind of for a different type of yoga. So there's like morning yoga or de-stress yoga or yoga for digestion. It's all kind of categorized really nicely and depending on your mood you can kind of do different ones. So like this morning I did the morning yoga, um, the other day I did the de-stress one. So yeah, I absolutely love it. The teacher I watch is a girl called Steffi White and she's awesome, like really chatty and friendly but great yoga. And the best thing about it, it's free, and you can do it in your living room, basically in your pants. And that makes the whole thing so much more relaxed, and also so much quicker. Like, you don't have to go out, get to your gym or your studio, get back again. It's just, I find, saves so much time as well. So yeah, the channel's called Tonic, uh, I'll link to it below. So at the moment, my favourite store is an online one, it's called Scout & Co Kids, and they've just got beautifully designed homeware stuff and kids stuff. The toys aren't really like your plastic stuff you tend to get in lots of other shops and the clothes, not like blue clothes for boys, pink clothes for girls, which you find a lot of elsewhere as well. It's kind of really different, cool, playful patterns and I absolutely love the stuff. And the homeware stuff is super stylish. You've got beautiful blankets and cushions, it's kind of scandy and it's a lot of white minimalist stuff with really funky patterns. But then yeah, you've also got kids clothes and toys and just really kind of different stuff than you get on the high street and um, I love the design. So yeah, check them out. So this is an event run by people called Big Fish Little Fish and it's basically family raves during the day on the weekend. So kind of imagine a festival, that kind of fun, free environment, but in quirky, cool places all throughout London and actually now they're branching out to different parts of the UK. They have great DJs that really know what they're doing, they have loads of different rooms, really funky like glow sticks everywhere, they have awesome lighting, bubble machines, confetti guns, glow sticks and then they have another room where it's all a bit quieter and kind of you can go to chill out a bit and they've got different music in there and they've got a ball pond and sort of inflatables and stuff. And they've got a bar so you can have a nice drink, they've got really great food like nice healthy snacks. 
they've got a cake stall, they've got smoothies. It's basically a great way to just go, let loose, have a boogie, be with other fun people, be with your baby, have fun with your baby as well. Like it's just a really fun place to be as a family. Just because you have a baby doesn't mean you want to stop going out into town, seeing exhibitions, checking out galleries, museums, I don't know, whatever it was you did pre-baby, you still want to kind of do it post-baby. So there's this awesome website called Bring Your Own Baby. Um, the tagline I think is something like for women that happen to be mums, which I really love. And what's really cool about it is that it aggregates all the stuff going on in London, then categorises it under things like art, um, music, fitness, and so you can kind of filter everything really nicely. And all the things are kind of checked out before and made sure that they're sort of baby friendly. So there's, I don't know, a breastfeeding area or changing tables or something. It's just an amazing way of finding out all the cool things going on in and around London. So those are my top five mummy, non-mummy things. Wow, it's quite a mouthful. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Hi to some of my new subscribers. Thank you for being here. I will see you guys next Wednesday for, I don't know, I think I might do a vlog because we're doing something quite fun. So yeah, see you then. Bye.